Yes, it is an essential element to achieve the sustainable and resilient cities of the future. It allows the incorporation of nature-based strategies that provide, both at city and building level, a lot of ecosystem services and also benefits, such as reducing the heat city block effect and controlling urban runoff. Besides, they also support biodiversity. The whole system of urban green infrastructure should be incorporated, even prioritized, into the new models of urban planning. They also help to benefit the building itself with thermal and acoustic insulation, among others. In a context of sustainable construction in which building should be understood not as an object but as a process, it makes sense to implement these construction systems that integrates vegetation, which at the same time translates into benefits throughout the life cycle of the building. That's why it makes sense to integrate these systems but always thinking about the whole life cycle of the building. It should be noted that all technicians involved in the process, both design, implementation and maintenance of these construction systems, green roofs and facades, should have knowledge and training to take advantage of the maximum performance of these benefits we have been talking about. Yes, this green roof is made with a multi-layer system. They are systems that try to imitate the natural horizon, the natural terrain. Each one meets a layer of protection from waterproofing, a layer of drainage of run of water, and there is also a filter, a technical substrate of the green roof. And finally, we have the vegetation and irrigation. Stop understanding these systems as traditional gardening systems implemented in the building. We can consider that the agents that will intervene in the building process, such as quantity surveyors, architects, technical architects and more, should start considering these systems as building systems, such as traditional double skin facades or traditional flat roofs covered with gravel. Therefore, they will be involved in the energy and water dynamics which provides ecosystem and multifunctional services to the building and also to the city. The maintenance of these systems can be very varied because we have different types of systems. Both in facades and in vegetated roofs, this system can be more intensive or more extensive, which means lower maintenance. People who will receive this green infrastructure in their building, whether covered or vegetated facades, should be very aware that they will work with living elements from now on, so it will involve more maintenance if they are intensive systems, like this facade, or more extensive systems which will only require punctual visits, preventive maintenance or very basic gardening. For the future of these systems and for the good adaptation of cities and buildings, intelligent control is a key factor. If they implement these systems with technology, they will reduce these maintenance tasks.
At the same time, they will promote the control of all the benefits they can provide us. So, yes, the future means technify even more the centralization of these systems. Well, the future of these systems lies in two key points. Firstly, the training of the personnel who have to install and maintain it, and secondly, to make them highly technical. What does this mean? Well, that we could know what is happening to this system, both on roofs and facades, at all times. When they lack water, when they lack nutrients, they will always have needs, and always, to have resilience that will last over time with the optimal qualities, these systems must be constantly monitored and detect any issue as fast as possible to have a quick response. This ensures their durability and that they are giving us everything is expected of them. Yes, basically the system is made up of different layers. One of them is the front layer you are looking at right now, which is the layer where you put the pockets with substrate. And we have a third layer in this system with a panel that is totally waterproof. And then the system contains an exudation irrigation system that homogenizes the geotextile system so that all plants are irrigated. There is also a software connected to sensors and it warns us of any incident. So yeah, we have vital and fabulous information for protective and preventive maintenance. <laughs>